Tom here from West Country Tech and we've come back to a job that we finished last week. We've come to Ottervale Motor Services off the A30 in Devon. This was a three-part install. The install started last year where we installed over two of their sites. This is the truck location where they do truck servicing, MOTing, mainly truck sales. And then the second site which is their van sales. Um, we installed smart notification security cameras and general oversight health and safety cameras throughout both sites. In the past year they've grown which is fantastic we've then come back now recently and installed additional cameras at the truck location cameras have been installed in their car park because they've got more and more trucks and we've also installed the hunter camera which we'll go and have a look at shortly so let's go and take a look Right, we've stopped here to take a look at this monster behind me. That's the Dower Hunter camera. Uh, we chose that camera specifically because it's a big old site here and instead of just putting cameras everywhere, uh, the customer wanted a nice general oversight, but then some of the smart features that this camera offered. It's actually two cameras, two independent cameras. There's a camera which spins horizontally and then it's got the traditional PTZ dome camera on the bottom. The horizontal camera will spin round to predefined locations. And if that camera then picks up a human or vehicle uh, intrusion, the PTZ tracking camera will snap to that location and then it will actually follow people around until they go out of sight. Because we've also got cameras in remote locations here, they've got a, a second workshop and then they've got cameras out in the car park. We've used our usual wireless links, which you can see behind me as well. One facing this way and one facing behind me. Uh, let's go and take a look at those cameras. Right, so we've come over here to this post and as you can see there's four cameras located on there. They are our usual mini bullet cameras by Dower. These cameras are doing everything they normally do which is record in high definition and also give notifications of human and vehicle movement. What's clever about this though is that we've also tied it in with the hunter camera. So as the hunter camera is moving around doing its thing, it's relying on movement based on its own camera. So as we said previously in the video, it's horizontal cameras moving around. That's determining where the uh, where the tracking PTZ will then snap round to if it, if it sees human or vehicle movement. But we've also added notifications off these. If these cameras get notifications, movement in a certain area, we've then told the tracking PTZ to spin round and look at those respective zones as well. Right, so we're coming over to this building now. And as you can see, there's a couple of old alarm panels on there. Um, but we've actually added uh, cameras. So you can see two, two mini bullet cameras here on the outside. Um, and then we've also got the mini bullet here, just giving a nice general over, oversight of the trucks parked here and then the, the main yard. Uh, same technology we use on all of our sites where we've got a remote building, wireless link on the main building, wireless link here, and that's gonna give us our connection um, instead of running cables across. So the customer required cameras inside the main workshop in the garage uh, for two reasons. Number one is health and safety. Um, obviously we've got a lot of guys working in here um, underneath vehicles, using power tools. If an accident happens, the camera's got it. The second reason now, a lot of car garages, a lot of MOT bays are requesting cameras that the customer can have a look at. So the customer can sit in their waiting room and in effect have watch their vehicle being MOT'd so as we enter the inside of the main shop, workshop, and we've got cameras on the inside for security and again, health and safety purposes. And we've also got one of our smart intruder alarm systems installed here. So all external doors are protected by a door contact. And with all of our sites, there's a keypad on the inside uh, for arming and disarming. And then we've also got it controlled. We're using the smartphone app. So we've also got independent users as well, and they can arm and disarm it. And the owner of the site can see exactly who's coming into the building and then arming it in the evening. Right, so we come to the second site now, which is still part of Otter Vale, but this is Otter Vale Commercials. And as you can see, there's a lot of vans here. So there's two separate sites, uh, exactly the same as the first site in the sense that we've got intruder alarm over two buildings. And then we've got uh, security cameras for general security and general site monitoring for health and safety. Again, we've got a lot of, the, a lot of public coming in and out of here. It only takes one person to reverse into a vehicle. It's been caught on cameras. We've got cameras here monitoring the outside of all the buildings, specifically the Waybridge, the workshop, the office. And then we've also again got cameras inside uh, for health and safety. So 